Now that we have a working two-dimensional FDTD code, let's start adapting it to the design challenge. We talked about the range of FM and AM radio stations and how we may need to go to a lower operating frequency in order to increase the range of our geolocation system. In order to determine the best operating frequency and the best type of antenna to use for our geolocation system, let's consider in more detail a typical AM transmitter like the one shown here. Let's just consider one of the four radiating elements as part of the station. For example, the first one here, the one in front. For this transmitting antenna, the mast is extending upward here. It's about 61 meters long. And it is 13.7 meters ab above the ground. The most common type of antenna with this kind of shape, where the radiating element here is just a long straight wire or a long straight metal structure, is a dipole antenna. Can we approximate this antenna as a dipole antenna? The radiation pattern of an antenna is determined partially by its length. So another question is, how long is this antenna compared to a wavelength? The exact transmitting frequency of this particular antenna station was initially 1,020 kilohertz.